Okay, so for part two, uh, we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing is, if we were to play this right now, um, each picture would come in after a click. So if I, if I run the show by pushing F5, I click, the first picture comes in. I click again, the second picture comes in. And I click last time, and the third picture comes in. So uh, what we wanted to do now is have this jellyfish uh, come down so I can emphasize the jellyfish a little bit more. And in, for your presentation, what that would be is you're talking about the jellyfish, so you click and the jellyfish comes to the center. So to do that, I'm first going to select the jellyfish and I'm going to go up here to where it says add effect. And again, we're in the custom animation window, so if that's not there, you just go to animation up here and click on custom animation. So under effects, there are several different types of animation that you can use. The entrance animations are the ones that we just did where it basically talks about or uh, is able to create an animation of something coming into the screen. Emphasize deals with things uh, that are already on the screen but maybe they grow or shrink or you can alter it in some way and uh, transform the image. Exit deals with the pictures leaving the screen and motion paths deal with images that are already on the screen in, inside that slide and you can have them move up or down or left or right change the direction in some way. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it go diagonal, down, right. When I select that, it's going to take my jellyfish and move it down and to the right. Now you'll notice, first of all, that it went behind the koala. And what we want to do is have it go over the koala. This is because of the order of the pictures. Right now, the jellyfish picture is actually behind the koala picture. So what I want to do is I'm going to right click on the jellyfish and I'm going to go up or I should say down, I'm going to uh, click on bring to front. And what that does is it's going to bring the jellyfish to the front, the, f the, f the foreground, all the way to the front of the layers or the images that are on the screen right now. The next thing I want to do is instead of having the jellyfish go all the way down here, I only want it to go maybe half of that. So I'm going to alter this path here. To do that, I'm going to click on the four, which is the fourth click, and I'm going to go down until I see this little double arrow on my cursor. Now if I click and drag it up, I can change how low the jellyfish goes. Be careful on this step not to move the entire path. If I move the entire path, that's going to alter where the jellyfish is moving altogether. So all of a sudden you'll see it pop down and go down right. So actually I can show you. So here we go, here's one, two, and three. And because I move the path, it actually messed up my jellyfish uh, path. So I'm going to undo that by hitting Control Z. And now if I play it, we're on track. One two and three. It comes down and to the right and that's where we left off. So the next thing I want to do is I also want it to grow. So to make it grow, again you're going to select the picture, you're going to click on add effect and we're going to go to emphasize. Remember these are the ones that allow you to transform your image. So I'm going to go to emphasize and I'm going to click grow shrink. If grow shrink isn't there you can go to more effects and you can see grow shrink right there under basic. So I'm going to click OK there. So uh, what that did is if I click play, you'll see it come down and grow, and then that's it. Now the problem is I want it to go down and grow at the same time. So to do that, I can go here to my uh, fifth click, basically, uh, the fifth animation. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to go down to timing. When I click on timing, I get this little window here. And right now it says start on click, and I want it to start with the previous one. Now if you remember the previous one, let's say OK, the previous one was when it was coming down and to the right. So now instead of clicking, uh, clicking and clicking, I just click one time, it's going to grow and come down at the same time. So let's take a look. One, two, and three. It's going to come down and grow, and there we have it. The final thing I want to do on this part of the, the, uh, the lesson is I want to have my penguin and my koala fade away so that this is very prominent. So to do that I just highlight my penguin and my koala and I'm going to go to add effect I'm going to go to emphasize and it's kind of funny because we're actually not emphasizing these to do it but we're going to go to emphasize nonetheless and uh, here you can see transparency which is what I want but again if it's not there you just go to more effects and here under the basic you can see transparency. So I'm going to select that. Now 
the default for transparency right now is 50%. Uh, I'm fine with 50%, but if you did want to change it, you can just highlight the two and uh, you can go down, or well, you can actually do it one at a time. But if I click on the koala uh, and we're on step five here, I can go here and click on effect options. And right now I can change the amount from 50 to 25 or 75. The higher the number, the more transparent it's going to be. The lower the number, the less transparent. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to leave it at 50. And the final thing is, again, right now I want, well, I, let me show you an example of what we're going to see. If I click, first picture comes in, second picture, third picture. I click again, it comes out and grows. I click again and I get the transparency I want. However, what we want to do is have it become transparent as this comes down into the right. So to do that, I'm just going to go to this step here. I'm going to click, go to timing, change the timing from on click to with previous. I'll click OK and I'll do the same thing with the fifth one. And it looks like it's already there so I don't have to worry about it. And for the second part, we have our animation working. One, two, three comes out, the other two become opaque and or transparent and then it goes, well we haven't done the back part so that's it for now and then we're going to do the final step in the third part of the video.